Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Um, today is going to be the Dark Danger Dark Road deck uh, profile that I built. So this is basically um, a deck that you can build with uh, just three of the structure decks. But I've also included um, two cards that I feel should be easy to get for the most part. Um, one of them not so much, but the other one definitely. I got lucky with the second one, but we'll go over that in a minute. So first, um, Danger Dark World. Dark Worlds, as you know, um, getting all their effects through discard. Um, I think it's very extremely straightforward deck to play. It's discarded. Their effects, for the most part, are not optional. So, you know, missing the timing and things like that is a bit more difficult with this deck. Um, you know, it's something you don't even really need to think about, honestly. Um, there's only like one or two cards that actually have activated effects um, within the graveyard um, and that would be I will go through that later but yeah I'm already have the cards out so let's start I feel like we'll start with um, I feel like we'll start with the uh, spell cards so first and foremost dark world puppetry it's effect target up to three cards in any graveyards banish them then discard one fiend monster just during your main phase except the turn this card was Sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one of my banished fiend monsters and add it to your hand. You can only activate one of these per turn. So basically, um, it's a graveyard disruption um, for your opponent and yourself too, if need be. Um, I feel like it's a pretty great card as far as, um, you know, thinning out a graveyard focused decks. Um, again, coming, I just want to preface this again by saying that coming into this, my knowledge of Different decks is slowly growing, but I know things such as, um, um, God, what's one deck that really plays with the graveyard? Well, just, um, just those kind of decks in general, I apologize. You know, just banishing three of those cards and still getting a discard off is still really good. And yeah, I feel like having at least one of those in the deck could be pretty helpful. Next card, Dark World Archives. It's effect, I can discard a fiend monster and all my current... Face of Fiends. Now I can discard a, dis a Dark World monster, and all Dark World monsters that control gain 100 attack equal to the level of the discarded monster. Secondary effect, um, if, a, if a monster was discarded during this turn, I can discard another monster, in or another um, Fiend monster, and uh, draw two cards. Honestly, just really good draw potential with this card. Um, only thing is, since you'd only activate one of them a turn, I feel like have, running more than one would be, um, just a bit de um, detrimental, only because you can only really activate both effects once per turn. So, having one is, feels really good. The draw two is, um, you know, going plus one in card advantage. Well, I mean, not really going plus one, because you still got discard, but, yeah, I feel like it's a great way to enable more pieces of the engine. And, just going off of that... Running two, the Dark World Dealings, pretty straightforward. You draw a card, discard one card. Could be really good in, um, you know, disrupting some of your opponent's plays, especially if you go first. Um, you know, just ripping out their hand, even if it's a monster that can um, activate in the graveyard. You know, just um, disrupting their combos before they could um, even get a chance to. I feel like that's a really good um, thing to be able to do. Um, so yeah, I run two of those. Um, Three, I feel like it's a bit too much, but I feel like um, just even with these two cards, you still have a good, consistent amount of card draw. Next, speaking of that, next card, card destruction. Funnily enough, um, Dark World cards do activate their effects with dark card destruction. Um, because of the way the card is um, worded, everything activates at once. It's all part of the effect, and one thing with Dark Worlds... Um, to not activate their effects is if they're discarded for cost. So, you know, if like you activate, I think it's called Regeki Break, I think. I saw a Dual Logs video where they explained that, you know, to activate Regeki Break, first you got to discard a card. And then you can destroy a card in the field. Well, because of the semicolon and just because of the wording that's in that card text, um, because it was most, because Dark World cards gain their effects off of effects, um, since it was active, since it was sent for a cost, doesn't really work out. So, yeah, I feel like one of those would be pretty good. So this is one I'm thinking of running two of Dark World Ascension. This basically allows us to get our 
main boss monster of the new fusion for the structure deck. So it's neat in that I can one banish and discard from my hand and graveyard to get a fiend monster from my extra deck. And specifically, if it's a dark world monster, um, let's see. If it's a fiend monster, or it's a dark world monster, I can discard. So, let's say I have Grafa, um, our main card for one of the materials in the graveyard. I can banish it, and then discard a card in my hand, bring another card out, get Grafa, and then, um, you know, discard another card to keep the combos going. So, I feel like maybe running two of them would probably be better, but, uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I haven't exactly play tested as far as locals. I've just done simulators, so I'm doing the best I can with this. But yeah, we'll see how we go from there. And then the number one staple of the deck, the last of the spell cards, Gates of Dark World. All fiend, all fiend monsters gain 300 attack and defense. And another part of our draw potential, we get to banish um, a fiend monster from our graveyard, um, discard a card, and then draw a card. So really the bread and butter of this um, deck, so, you know, so we can consistently... Um, get our discard effects off and yeah um, going from there best thing about the, like I said besides some certain cards all of these most of the dark world cards activate their effects while they're being discarded in the, in the grave so besides a few select few going with that we're going to add skill drain so this is like our main floodgate um, like I said there's only one monster maybe two that only really activate their effects um, on the field, but you gotta be really, you really gotta be careful because one of our combo pieces, um, we don't want to try to get it off while we have skill drain. But we can always pop it ourselves with one of the monsters in our decks, and really just stopping um, monster effects in general is always a powerful ability. So that's why I include one of them in there. And then going into so now going into the actual monsters, um, this is one of the cards that I pulled from the Dark Ring Blast set that I feel is. Honestly, just super amazing for Dark Worlds. And that is Z Zalamander Catalyzer. Its effect, you can reveal this and another monster and another um, fiend monster in my hand. I can special summon one, discard the other. So basically, um, reveal this and say like a Silva or a Snow. Discard the actual Dark World monster, special summon the Zalamander Catalyzer. And its other effect, get the effect for the, um, the discard off for the Dark World. And then, its other effect is, if a monster is destroyed in battle involving a fiend monster, while well, this is in the graveyard, I can add it back to my hand. So it cycles itself, essentially, once I destroy a monster. So it's really good for keeping uh, a full hand and just being able to get effects off. I believe you can also use it, its effect with itself. So, like I said, once I playtest it, um, we'll see how we go. Next card, I got a bit lucky with this one. I pulled it from the Maze of Memories set. And that is Blackwing Zephros the Elite. Its effect, if it's in the graveyard, I can target... <clears throat> I can return one face-up card I control to the hand and special summon it from the graveyard, and I take 400 damage. And I can only use this effect once per duel. And honestly, just being able to, one, get a body on the board and prime and bring a Dark World card back to the hand to prime it for its effects again. Really powerful effect. Um, I believe you can only have one of these. I think it's, like, limited. And super lucky to have pulled this card... Um, I know it's a bit, I'm not sure the price of TCG, but like I said, this deck is mainly really meant to um, only use the structure decks. Um, so these are the only really two cards outside of the structure deck that I've included. But if I were to have to replace them, I would probably try to go with, um, let's see, maybe Dark Eradicator Virus or Pandemic Virus, the one that you see have like a Dark Monster, 2500 attack or more, and you can destroy spells and traps, and the Grinning Virus one, where um, for each multiple of 500 that you have, and if it was over 2000, you just destroy monsters um, that your opponent draws and has in their hands. I would say you can replace it with those. Um, but like I said, if you're lucky, this one is a common in Blackwing, um, in the Blackwing's um, booster set. I feel like it's super easy to get. Um, I think it's pretty cheap too on TCG player. But yeah, I mean, if you can get it, I feel like this is a auto, basically an auto include in the deck and it just helps the engines uh, run a lot better. 
Next one's Silva, Warlord of Dark World. Um, when it's discarded, um, it gets a special summon itself. Um, really ma amazing hand effect with um, another really amazing effect if it's discarded with your opponent's card effect. So I feel like um, you get to rip two cards from their hand and put it directly at the bottom of their deck. If you can pull that off, you know, it's amazing hand, disru hand disruption, you know, mess up your opponent's plays, especially if you get it off on your first turn. Um, I'm, I'm always, when I feel like when I play this deck in Master Duel, obviously it's not going to be one for one. Um, most of these, the new Dark Road uh, support cards have not made it to Master Duel. But just Silva, you know, getting that hand rip effect off has helped me win so many duels in Master Duel. And to help facilitate um, that, I run two of them to help facilitate that hand rip effect. Um, I also run two, Cerule Guru of Dark World. Its effect, when it's discarded, um, it gets to summon itself to the, um, if it's, let, let me see. When it's discarded by card effect, I can special summon it to my opponent's field. And if it was special summoned by a dark world effect itself, it gets to, you, your opponent discards one card. So basically, you discard this, summons itself to its, to that side of the field, and it makes you s discard one card. And you can, that's how you're able to pop off some of the extra effects for the Dark World cards, like Silva, Snow, and, and like Grapha. And that's why I said that it's, um, you gotta be careful running Skill Drain, because if you have Skill Drain and you try to get this effect off, it's just gonna negate itself. So, run two of those just to help um, try to get those extra effects off. And the latest one, um, Rainbow over King of Dark World, so kind of similar effect to Grapha. If it's in the graveyard, um, you could special summon it by returning a level um, level 7 or lower Dark World monster to my hand. If it was discarded by a card effect, we can add a level 5 or higher Dark World monster. Um, let's see, add a level 5 or higher Dark World monster from the deck to your hand, except another copy of itself. And if it was discarded from my hand to, buy, to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect, um, I can special summon a level 4 lower dark world monster from your graveyard, your deck or graveyard to either field. So, with that in mind, um, one combo that you could potentially do is, you know, say another, both of the, one is in the deck, one is in the field, if you can get that second effect off of um, being discarded by your opponent's card effect, you can special summon another one to your opponent's field, and then just keep the cycle going with your dark world cards. I feel like it's a pretty good, um, also a good beater card on the field, just for the same reason as Zephros, being able to summon itself from the graveyard by returning a Dark World monster, and just keeping the, the, the discard effects going. Run three of those. And then the main guy of this build, Grafa, uh, he came out in the last Dark World structure deck. Basically his effect, if it's discarded, it could pop a card on the field, and if it was discarded by your opponent's card effect, um, you could take a look at one card in your hand, and if, in their hand, and if it was a monster, you could special summon it to your side of the field. Amazing effect. It's other effect. Um, if there's, if it's in the graveyard, same as Rainbow, um, I could special summon it by take by returning one Dark World card monster from my um, great my deck to my hand, and it could summon itself. Run three. Really consistent card. And then next. Another good staple of all Dark World decks is Snow. It's effect, when it's discarded, I can add a Dark World card to my hand. And if it's discarded by an opponent's card effect, I can uh, target one, let's see, I can target one monster in my opponent's graveyard and special summon it in defense once on my side of the field. So another amazing piece of uh, graveyard disruption and just being able to search, you know, almost every single Dark World card and add it to my hand. Really great, um, works really well with, um, the with the gates of the dark world um works well with ceruli and getting that graveyard disruption um to summon for your side of the field to set up for another dark world card can be really good um i don't have a real extra deck as far as outside of what came with the structure deck but i did get lucky on some pulls as you'll see in the next video that i post and so hopefully we can get the extra build deck um growing but moving past that Another major staple of the new structure deck, Genta, Gateman of Dark World. Its effect, 
I can discard it to add Gates of the Dark World to my hand. And then obviously, and it has another effect where if it's banished, I can, once per turn when it's banished, I can re -sub special summon it um, to my side of the field if I control a Dark World card. So basically, gets its effects off, um, use Gates, discard, um, banish Gensa, discard another Dark World card, then its effect, um, you know, special summon itself at the end of that chain. Really good, keeps the board presence alive, and it even and it even helps for things such as um, Grapha or Rainbow. So these next, these are the last two Dark World cards that I have here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them in the deck or try to substitute them with something else. But Parl, Hermit of the Dark World, its effect, um, if it's discarded by the graveyard, the card effect, I can target a Dark World monster in my graveyard, accept a copy of itself, and special summon it to either field. Um, its effect gets expanded if it's discarded by an opponent's card effect, where I can also um, go to, or I can also discard, sorry, getting a bit nervous here, um, where I can also special summon to either field, one from Banished in my hand or my graveyard. So, combo, I'm, I'm getting the feeling I combo this off of Sorelli and get some nice plays off um, there for extension. Again, it's only one. Um, I haven't really seen how this really plays um, in, real, in real life, but we'll see how it goes. Last one, more than likely I'm going to end up um, taking, removing this. There's another card in the next archetype that I really want to add, but um, it does cost a bit of money, so I'll probably keep it here. Um, when Bro Huntsman of the Dark World is discarded, draw a card, discarded by an opponent's card effect, draw two. Really, card draw um, is an amazing thing to have, and um, you, know, you can never have enough of it. So, let's go ahead, make some room for the last piece of the deck, and honestly, what also helps keep it consistent, and that is the danger cards. So, I'm just going to put them all up right now. I run three each of Danger Thunderbird, Danger Bigfoot, and Danger Mothman. So starting with Danger Thunderbird, like all Danger cards, um, I reveal it in my hand. Opponent chooses a random card in my hand to discard. If it wasn't Danger Thunderbird, special summon it to the field. And if it was discarded, I could pop a set card on the field. Um, really good board interaction, because even if, um, even if uh, I get unlucky and discard itself, I could still pop a set card on their field. And then the opposite side of that, oh, and if it does special summon, draw a card. So keeping up with the card advantage. The next one, three of Bigfoot, almost the exact same as Thunderbird. So um, if it's discarded, I get to target a face-up card on the field and pop that. And pretty good, um, basically the, the opposite, so sets and face-ups. So I feel like that's a great combo to have. And lastly, I have three for our main deck, three Danger Mothmans. Um, slightly different effect when it is discarded, um, like all like all Danger cards. You know, you can you have a chance to not only discard it. Its discard effect is it allows me to draw a card and then discard a card. So really facilitates into the, the Dark Road engine and even the other um, and even the other um, uh, Danger cards. So, I feel that um, if I were to change this deck up a little bit for the main deck, I would probably end up getting rid of Bro, so that way I can get a Danger Chupacabra, and its effect is if it's discarded um, by its effect, then um, you could special summon one Danger card from the graveyard. So honestly, if I ever want to bite the bullet, I might go ahead and get a Danger Chupacabra. But lastly, our main boss monster, and what I'm probably going to end up running two Dark World Ascensions, Ascensions just to keep it more consistent, is Grafa, Dragon Overworld, of, Overlord of Dark World. So, it has a pseudo negate where, well, it requires, to first, it requires Grafa, Dragon Lord of Dark World, and one Dark Monster. So, the cool thing that you can do with this, say Grafa is in your graveyard. Activate Dark World Ascension, banish Grafa, and then another Dark and then you could discard a Dark World monster to bring this guy out. Ends up being 3500 attack with Gates of the Dark World. It's effect really quick. When your opponent activates a Motsi, get it for you guys. 
When your opponent activates a monster effect or normal spell trap card while you have a card in your hand, quick effect, you can activate this effect. The activated effect becomes your opponent discards one card. You can only use the effect of Grafa, Dark, of Grafa Dragon Overlord or Dark World once per turn. If this fusion summoned card is in its owner's control, leaves the field because of an opponent's card, you can special summon one of your Grafa Dragon Lord of Dark World that is in your graveyard. That is banished or in your graveyard. Sorry, I couldn't read it for the little marking. Then each player with a hand discards one card. So it's a pseudo negate. Ends up being that um, they can change the effect to like Cerulean. Makes your opponent discard a card. Um, really wanted to get this guy out as soon as possible. Um, that's why I said I'll probably end up... Um, I'll probably end up not running Paul um, in order to get another Dark World Ascension. But... I feel like with just the structure deck, like again, like I said, you could probably include two other um, two other Dark World cards, maybe like the level 6s. I know there's one, I believe it's Lucent, where if it's discarded, I could special summon itself, and if it's discarded by card effect, you could special summon a Dark World monster as well. I feel like that would be a great card to add to it, but regardless, um, this is my Dark World deck profile. Um, I feel for 30 bucks you can build a really good deck. And especially if you can get these two cards from boosters, if you buy them as singles, it will really help the deck be a lot more consistent, even more so than it already is. But yeah, um, apologies for stuttering. It's the first time making a video like this. Um, I normally just do the unboxing and you know the World of Warcraft videos like before. I do want to um, do more videos like this. So maybe when I go to my local events soon, um, you know I can test out the deck, maybe pick up some extra deck cards. And yeah, just play test the deck even more. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave any suggestions or comments um, down below. And I'll see you in the next one.